Hi, Tom. Okay, it is evaluation day, and here we are doing evaluation stuff. It's always so exciting. Um, okay, I have your watch here. This watch was purchased in Okinawa, Japan, while uh, you were in the service in the 70s. Okay, well, like I said when we were talking by email, um, the good news is, based on what you were describing to me, is that your chronograph wheel was good. And it is, which is nice. Um, the basic numbers... They're pretty decent. I mean, we were getting a clean signal. It's got a little bit of beat error. It's rising a little bit, and the amplitude is low-ish. But 208 is not terrible. Uh, this, When it's serviced, this is going to be, you know, 50 points higher. This is amplitude. This is the measure of how far back and forth the balance is turning. And that tells us how much power is making it through the gear train from the mainspring. And so it's that's not bad. But the most important thing that we're looking for is that the signal is clean. It's very even. It's very steady. That tells me that the movement is mechanically in good condition. The reason that the watch stops at 58 is because your minute counter hand is minute counter wheel is super gluey so um i can manually move it you can actually see the bottom of the wheel right here the chronograph wheel is underneath here and has a finger on it and it comes around and goes tick 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 and it pushes over the intermediary wheel which is under here and the intermediary wheel pushes over the minute counter wheel well your minute counter wheel turns it's just really gluey um, but physically, mechanically, it's fine. It just needs to be cleaned. Uh, your movement is in good condition, fun functionally. Um, so there's nothing really to worry about there. The watch has never had water inside. Um, I mean, the movement is a little bit hazy. It's had some non-Seiko work before. These screws are not Seiko. So, I, I mean, they function. Uh, but I'm going to want to look at them. I may want to replace these with correct Seiko screws simply to have the right parts in place. Uh, I also noticed when stopping and starting that that, that your this pillar wheel is kind of hanging up a little bit. It doesn't really want to click over nicely, but that's another function of cleaning. Uh, the case itself is clean. The ceiling surfaces are clean. Water has not gotten in. Uh, you, by the way, don't seem to have a... Oh, no, wait, there it is. I was like, you don't have a case back seal. Oh, it's there. It's just very thin. Um, cosmetically, the watch is good. Um, it's original. Uh, whoever did the work on it painted these hands, but they don't look bad. I mean, they're Seiko hands. They just got painted. Your watch resets to zero. Your Canon pinion feels a little loose. Let me just, I just want to push this thing forward and check the day date so hang on yep dial's a little faded but it's a, it's an original watch and it's absolutely worth the effort it's worn but it has good wear on it it feels good a lot of times i see these and they're just beaten i don't know why these these um this particular, these models, they just tend to be so worn. I don't know why. But this is a good watch. After service, it'd be fine. It just needs service and probably seals, I would imagine. But after service, it'll be fine. It won't have any problems. So you let me know if you want me to go ahead. I'm not seeing anything functionally right now that I myself would do anything. If this were my watch, I would simply service it and make sure that seals were clean or replaced rather, I would do a case rebuild. Uh, I didn't look at your crystal. Did you stop wiggling? I don't see any marks on your crystal. Really? I see fingerprints on your crystal, but I don't see any marks on your crystal. No, I'd say actually your crystal looks okay. I'd leave your crystal. I check the seals, it serves the movement. And that's what I do. Okay, you let me know. Thank you.